Welcome back to Cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. Today we are going to double smoke a pre-cooked bone in ham and make a glaze with butter, brown sugar and honey to finish it off. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. So guys, let's go prep our ham and here's our ingredients. You would need ham, mustard and barbecue sweet rub. So guys, here I have a 6 pound hickory smoked ham I'm going to remove that skin and also trim off some of the fat from that fat cap. Here you can see I have already removed most of that skin because that's pretty easy enough to do so I didn't want to bore you guys when doing this. Now that I've finished removing the skin, it's time to start trimming that fat. You want to trim most of that fat off from the fat cap leaving about a quarter inch thickness or so. And of course when doing this a sharp knife will definitely help. Now that you have removed that skin and trimmed off most of that ham, you want to score your ham about a quarter inch deep to form a cross hatch pattern. Doing this will help your favorite barbecue rub and also some of that smoke penetrate into that ham. Now that I have finished scoring the ham, I'm going to apply a light coating of mustard all over it and this will act as a binder. You want to make sure and get good coverage of that mustard all over that ham and this will help your favorite barbecue rub to stick. Here I am going to apply a sweet homemade barbecue rub. And you want to apply a generous amount of this sweet barbecue rub all over this ham. Make sure you get it all between those nooks and crannies. The original creator of this rub is by a channel called Hey Grill Hey. I will have a link in the iCards above and also in the description box below to this channel. I will also have the full recipe on how to make this sweet barbecue rub in the description box below. Now that the ham is all seasoned up, I'm going to let this sit for about half an hour to help that rub sweat in. And in a miracle of time, half an hour has gone by. Now I'm just going to insert some whole cloves all over this ham. And this is going to bring another level of flavor. But this is optional of course. This could be a bit of a tedious job. But this is how we do it here in Trinidad. Now that we have finished inserting our cloves in the ham, it's time to get our grill ready for smoking. Here I got my grill all set up for some low and slow cooking. And for that smoke, I'm using a chunk of post oak. I'm going to place it on the hot coals and this is where you're going to get that smoke for our ham. Now it's time to place our ham opposite the hot coals to get some indirect cooking going on. So that looks just about right. So let's put the cover on and let that chibber do its thing. So I'll bring you guys back in about the next 30 to 45 minutes when it's time to check on our ham. And in the miracle of time, 40 minutes has gone by. Let's see how our ham is looking. Here you can see that our ham is taking on a nice color and this is what we are looking for. Here I'm just checking to see if our rub is setting nicely. And of course you know you've got to get that bird's eye view of this ham. Now it's just time to give your ham a, a spin around to make sure you get some even cooking going on. Now you may not have to do this depending on your cooker. This is about one hour into our cook and our ham is looking absolutely gorgeous. Here I'm just spinning it around once again to get that even cooking going on. So we're going to put the cover on and we're going to let that ham ride for a while. So about an hour and 10 minutes has gone by and here you can see our ham is looking absolutely gorgeous. Now that we have gotten the color that we want, we're going to wrap this ham in some foil and get it a little more tender. This step is not necessary but I like doing it this way because it helps to tenderize that ham some more. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and click the post notifications for more. So now that we have the ham all wrapped up in foil we're gonna put that opposite the hot coals once again put the cover on and we're gonna let this run for about another half an hour. In the meanwhile it's time to go make our honey glaze and here's our ingredients. For our honey glaze, you will need half cup of honey, 2 to 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter and 2 tablespoons of brown sugar. To start making our glaze, we will first be going in with 2 to 3 tablespoons of unsalted butter and this will help give that glaze that extra sheen. Next in the pool, we are going in with 2 tablespoons of light brown sugar and this will help bring out the sweetness. And for the start of the show, we will be going in with half cup of honey. 
and of course if you are smoking a much bigger ham or maybe smoking two hams at the same time you just need to double the amount of your ingredients. Now that you have gotten all of your ingredients in the pool let's head on over to the stove. Well here we are at the stove and we are on medium low heat. We want to melt down that butter and that brown sugar. You want to continue stirring this and when it comes up to a boil you want to turn your stove down to low and just continuously stirring it to prevent it from burning. This should take no longer than about 5 to 8 minutes and what you are looking for is when that glaze starts to coat the spoon. When this starts to happen all you need to do is turn the heat right off and allow this to cool and it will thicken up as it starts to cool down. So while this is cooling let's head on over back to the grill. Well here we are back at the grill and now it's time to check the internal temp of the ham and what we are looking for is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit internal. Now that we are at the temp we are looking for it's time to unwrap this ham out of the foil and we are going to place it into one of those sheet pans that we have here. So we have our ham in the sheet pan it's time to place it back opposite the hot coals once again and now we are going to get ready for glazing. And here's our honey glaze. Now we're going to take our brush and apply it liberally all over our ham. You want to make sure you get that glaze all in those crevices of that ham. Well it's time to put the cover on and we're going to allow that glaze to get nice and sticky. After about 10 minutes or so you want to take the ham and you want to flip it right over because you want to get some of that glaze on the bottom of that ham. And here you can see I got my camera girl giving me a help to glaze that ham. So guys this video was supposed to come out for Easter but better late than never. So we're gonna put the cover on and we're gonna let this run for about another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes has gone by and we're gonna glaze the ham one more time and then we're going to remove this from the sheet pan and place the ham directly on the grill. This is to make sure that you get that glaze set nicely all over that ham. And in the miracle of time 10 minutes has gone by so I say it's time to get this ham off of the grill. Here you can see where the glaze has set nicely on that ham. So I say we're going to get this on a plate and we're going to head inside, fasten our seat belts and let's get ready for a drive by. Let's go! Well boys and girls here's our delicious honey glazed double smoked ham and it was so tasty. I hope you all enjoyed the video, like, comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more videos. See you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time.